everybody right to go? Thanks for joining us for the daily update. First things first, uh, some of you may know that I've, I've been in an intimate relationship with Gladys for some time. I'm saddened to have to update you that uh, I had some text exchange with Gladys this morning. And it was very clear between her and I that the relationship that we previously had is gone. I still love you, Gladys. I can't stand here and pretend that it's over because I desperately, desperately want her. But surely I deserve better than this. I mean, come this far, I mean, built this thing that is so precious, but fragile. You can't just, you know, we can't just stop. We can't, we can't give up. I don't like rejection. I don't like loneliness and that sense of isolation. Uh, please, let's just fix it. Let's just fix it. I am very, very, very sad because I live in Melbourne and she, she doesn't. And if she's watching this, uh, I just, uh, I just like to say, Gladys, I wish, it, I wish I could touch you and be with you forever. Why would she leave me? Is there another man? No, it, it's my fault. Why would anyone want to spend time with me? I am not fun. I am very boring. I'm just a big stupid nobody. I don't have any friends. I'm so, so alone. Now I know how Daryl and Midwife feels. Come on, Dan. Suck it up, bitch. You can do better than Gladys. I will see you tomorrow.